Let's go look over the interface of the applications. Don't worry if you get lost in some period because we'll come back to all of these options and explore them in details. Again, in overview, if you notice, we have um, our application screen and we have the file menu on the top. We have it also the toolbars on the top and the left side. In the default settings that you can modify, you'll have these four views. So you have this um, top view currently, side view, front view, and our camera view. So it's a standard kind of look. We also have it right here on the side um, additional properties. It's maybe properties for the objects or camera or anything that we selected. So for example, if we select camera, you notice right here we have all these different options we can access and also the object properties that we can modify. Below, we have our preview on a camera. We can scroll through different cameras if we need it or adjust and modify how the camera look from this menu as well from any other of those views that we have it. Okay, on below, we have our browser, which represent kind of like object file structures, also link it, materials, and as well the camera. So it's all these different type of properties. Below these settings, we have it how we can organize or access additional properties. And we have an information bar on the bottom. Of course, if we add um, animations, if for example, we go ahead and enable, you'll notice we'll add additional bar below, which represent our timeline with the frames or a second, depending on how you set. And of course, you can expand even this more in animations where we kind of our key curves and all other properties. Again, don't worry, don't get confused too much about this interface. It is just overview. Also on some icons, if we look on the top bar, you'll notice we have these kind of blue dots. This is mean it is um, expandable or provide you additional options. So if you just, for example, uh, left click, you can see right here, come up or right click. Example, right let's go right here we have a sphere if i right click and hold you can see it's extended menu provide me additional options so i can create a sphere cube or any other property and this going along with all other objects some of them example like uh, plants we can if we right click it will actually open the browser and in this browser we can go and select different species of the plants rocks or any other things or navigate to our menu how this uh, menu look you can also customize in your options so next what we're going to do is go over this top menu drop down menu and see what they have provide for us additional options